the entrance to the main Rio parking lot. But today we're gonna go and use the garage adjacent to the casino. Uh, about the same walk, maybe a little bit longer, but it will provide you with shade, which is very important when it's 110 degrees out. Of course, there's no shade on the roof, but we're gonna go there for view purposes today. Look at that view. Welcome to the 2019 World Series of Poker at the Rio. All suites, debatably, hotel and casino, 50th anniversary of the World Series of Poker. This is gonna be a great one. Don't miss the first event, the Big Fitty, Big Fatty, Big 40. In this video, I'm gonna give you the top five World Series of Poker tips and tricks that you need to know in order to be successful this summer. Number one, bring money. I know it seems obvious, you need money to gamble, but make sure you budget how many tournaments you're gonna play, cash game limits, sit and goes, uh, if you're gonna go to steakhouses, massage parlors, strip clubs, all these things really add up quickly. Alcohol, uh, legal drugs, you know, you're here to have a good time, but you wanna win money too. Winning a tournament is the ultimate rush. In order to get this rush, you have to be prepared. And that's where we're gonna talk about steps two through five. Tip number two is make a schedule. Figure out what tournaments you wanna play, how many buy-ins, how many re-entries, what days, and at what casinos. There's a lot of casinos out there that are offering numerous tournaments. Play within your limits, gamble responsibly, depending on your situation. You know, if you're just, if you're just a millionaire here to gamble it up and have a good time, sure. Drink, eat, eat greasy food, I don't care. But if you're serious about trying to win, you have to plan all these things that I'm gonna talk about in this video. Preparation is the key to success, and I'm gonna show you how to prepare. Tip number three, study. Learn the game. Get great at No Limit Texas Hold'em or whatever poker game you are here to play. Odds are it's Texas Hold'em. The ways you can study are sign up on a training site, I'm an affiliate for RazorEdge.com. You can get $50 to $150 off if you click my link in the description below, depending on what course is best for you. There's also a lot of ways to study for free. You can go to Raise Your Edge YouTube channel. You can go to Doug Polk's YouTube channel. You can watch some Twitch streamers that are winning players and learn from them. There's a lot of programs out there. Of course, I do private coaching for $100 an hour. Don't think you're better than you are. There's always something to learn from somebody else. Put in the time, put in the effort, invest in your future of winning a poker tournament. Of course, you can always practice online on America's Card Room. Sign up today using bonus code BOSKI. Play money tables, dollar tournaments, it all adds up. You wanna stay sharp, you wanna get in the flow of what it takes to win a poker tournament. Your body is your temple. Tip number four is treat your body well. Stay hydrated, eat small meals, do cardio, don't overdo it on caffeine, nicotine, or any other teen. Alcohol, I'd avoid. You wanna be in the zone, you wanna be present, you wanna be focused. You have a goal at hand, the days are long, you need cardio. I highly recommend getting an All-American Dave plan. They range from 300 to $1,000, I believe, depending on how long you're gonna be in Las Vegas, where Attractive women will deliver you food for free. What's up guys, Jeff Boski here. We are at the Rio on location at the World Series of Poker 2018 edition. The summer's winding down, but the food still keeps on cooking. No better way to say thank you when your All-American Dave girl delivers you a hot meal or a very hot coffee. <laughs> of course, the meals themselves are 20 to $30, but they're healthy, they're convenient, and they're what you need to survive in the desert. Of course, you can always, you know, just wait seven, eight hours after your breakfast and have a huge dinner at All American Grill or the buffet, the sports deli. Good luck shoveling all that grease down your throat. See what happens. It might be immediately satisfying, but long term, when the blinds are high, the stakes are high, that's when you're going to be affected the most. I know it's tempting. 
I know you're on vacation. Eat well, play well, perform well. It's not a big secret, guys. It's all about discipline. So you've been studying the game every day. You're getting your cardio in. You got the bankroll ready. You're prepared to crush the World Series of Poker. But you're forgetting about one thing. Once you're here playing, you have to be focused. You have to visualize yourself at that final table. And if you are lucky enough to get to that final table, what are you gonna do when it's on the 30 minute delay live stream on Poker Go? Most, if not all of your opponents will have people watching the stream, seeing how you play your ranges, looking for physical tells on you. Do you have the same? Are you prepared for this? You're gonna play days straight and then all of a sudden, boom, you're at the final table. Do you have a crew of people ready to relay the, you this information? If you don't, you're at a huge disadvantage. That's where my team of people come into play, pros, ex-pros, and people I trust that will watch the stream for you for a small fee. Message me at jeffboski.com as soon as this happens, and I'll get a team of one or more people on your rail sending you text updates of your opponent's tendencies, what they had in big hands. This is all very valuable information. You're playing for millions of dollars at that final table. You wanna be prepared, I'm on your side. Hit me up, we'll make it happen. Tip number five is enjoy yourself. The first four tips weren't very fun, but the goal is to have fun. Of course, if you win, you're gonna have a lot more fun than if you lose, but regardless, Las Vegas is the premier gambling destination in the United States. So even if things don't go well for you at the tables, which they probably won't, let's be honest, 85% of the time, you're not gonna even cash a tournament, let alone the 0.01% of the time that you win it all. Check out the local Chinatown, check out some shows, do touristy things in Las Vegas, it's fine. Enjoy yourself on your vacation, even if you lose money, you should always go into this venture expecting the worst but hoping for the best stay positive and say hi to me if you see me in the rio hallway i always like talking to viewers of the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if i left anything out i've been playing these tournaments for 13 years now i'm 0 for 13 in the main event that's right one hundred and thirty thousand dollars gone another year another ten thousand dollars contributed to the main event champion the devastation is palpable. This year is going to be different. Stay optimistic, but stay realistic. Let's take a little trip down the halls. This is the main hall that you'll be walking out of every dinner break. Thousands of people will be all jockeying for position to get a table at one of the fine restaurants at the Rio. But the secret is to leave a few minutes early or already make reservations. Be prepared. I know it's your vacation, you want to enjoy life, but you can enjoy life after you win the tournament. Go out to a nice steak dinner, really treat yourself. Is the main red carpet entrance to the World Series of Poker. Huge parking lot just beyond this. This is where people are gonna be smoking thousands of cigarettes every day. So you're gonna to have to dodge all the cancer that's in the air to make it down this hallway. This is the hallway to all of the tournament areas. To your left is gonna be the pavilion room. You do not wanna be in the pavilion room. Horrible chairs, horrible dealers. It is home of the deep stack. You will, you will have to play there. But if you pre-reg your event, you'll get better seating in the Brasilia or the Amazon. To your right will be the poker kitchen where you can get $12 hot dogs and $6 bananas. On your right here will be filled with phone charger salesmen and of course everybody's favorite the balance bracelets. That's right they're gonna try to get you for $20 to $100 depending on how big of a sucker you are. Don't fall for the balance bracelet scam. These are the bathrooms. Yep that's pretty much all the bathrooms you're gonna get. There are a few other hidden ones. You're gonna to have to talk to some pros to find out where they are, but this is where thousands of people are all going to congregate to try to go to the bathroom in a 20 minute period. 
In order to beat the bathroom lines, I highly recommend you leave two minutes early. If it matters to you and you don't want to stand in the line for your whole break, leave two minutes early, miss a few hands. It might hurt your equity a little bit. And this is going to be the registration line. This is where you go to register. Oh, and there will most likely be a line depending on when you register. So always think about that. These doors right here, it says emergency exit only. There'll be other warning signs on these also, but plenty of people use them. It goes right into the parking lot. It will even say alarm will sound. If you gotta go outside, that's the best way to go outside. If you need a player's card, they'll make you one right here. You will need a player's card to enter all events. So as you can see to the left is the Amazon room. This is where your final table will be in a lot of day twos and a lot of the higher buy-ins. To the right is the media room. This is where all the reporters and et cetera hang out, edit film. And this is the payout line, the other side of the cashier cage. This is where you can come to cash in your payout ticket if they still have tickets this year. If you go straight, down this hallway, out these doors, you'll find the All-American Day food truck. That's where you can buy individual meals or set up a payment plan on bricks. This is what it's gonna look like after you bust a turn. You're gonna question your play. You're gonna question your opponent's sanity. You're gonna question a lot of things. And the biggest question is, what am I gonna do now? Well, you could go into the pavilion room and play a single table satellite or a cash game where they don't have chip runners. Or you can go back to registration, sign up for another event. Or you can go down this hall to the left and go outside where it'll be 110 degrees. You thought you were heated before? Wait till that dry Vegas heat hits you in the face. Of course, for dinner break, you can always hop in an Uber or a buddy's car and go off strip. There are hundreds of restaurants nearby in Chinatown. But if you are gonna venture and eat at the Rio, make sure you make a reservation or you walk all the way to the end of the Rio and go to, I think it's KJ's Chinese. There's usually not a line there. Here is the second restroom location. Pro tip, I don't know if I can bring my camera in here, but if you hang to the left, that's where all the stalls are going to be. Urinals are on the right. And there'll be a big line for the urinals right here. But if you just stay to the left, there'll be plenty of stalls that are unoccupied. Pro tip of the day. Look at all those stalls. Make sure you wash your hands after. Maybe even before you go to the bathroom. It does make a big difference. Cleanliness is next to godliness, and you know I'm all about godliness. And I'm out.